So if you ever ordered anything from this place, you probably figured out you can score a pretty good deal on stuff. And if you're a car guy, a car gal, you can save a lot of money on tools to work on your car. But how about car parts? Well, I've been wondering that myself because uh, there's a lot of different things to choose from. I'm like, okay, well, maybe I need to take a shot at this and see how the car parts are because my experience has been really good with the tools. But after ordering said car parts, I've learned something about Timu. You can get some good stuff and you can get some bad oh stuff. God! So as far as tools go from Timu, I've been really happy and I'm actually really surprised that I've gotten what I've got for the amount of money that I paid. I mean, this electric ratchet has been really awesome. I've gotten these really nice specialty pliers. There's like five of them I got for nothing. And I got these polishing pads and a drill attachment for small little projects on the car. I've gotten various other specialty tools too that are those weird tools that like you find a once in a while need for. So you don't want to overspend on them. And I got all of this for the price of a McDonald's Happy Meal. I mean, it's crazy how inexpensive tools are from Timu. And I've been so happy with the quality and price of them. So I thought I'm gonna order some car parts. And that's where things went downhill. So my first mistake was buying this stuff right here. This is uh, advertised as automotive fire insulation and sound insulation pad, aluminum foil automotive insulation, cotton automotive hood insulation cotton. Okay, so the first line, automotive fire insulation. Okay, so what makes fire insulation fire insulation? Well, if you go over here to product details, number one features automotive fireproof heat insulation. So I bought this like, wow, this would be great to put under the hood in certain places to help block heat. And I'm like, wow, to me, fireproof means just that. I don't know the exact definition of what fireproof is, nor do I know what the actual requirements are for a product to be considered fireproof, but I guess it's gotta be around the same thing as waterproof, so I should be able to hold fire up to this and nothing should happen, right? So I decided just to use a simple lighter and hold a flame up to this and see what happens. And well, as you can see, it ain't looking too good. After a few more seconds of holding that flame on there, it was fully engulfed. And if it wasn't for the wind, it would have stayed lit. Yeah, it got really toasty really quick. So yeah, I, I, I don't know about that. Uh, it doesn't seem very fireproof to me and that does not make me comfortable putting this anywhere underneath the hood like of my car. Ignorant. But the product does also say on the product page, which is contradicting, is cannot be applied to heat sources such as exhaust pipes, mufflers, or hot turbine pipes. Okay, well that's very fair because it definitely cannot withstand a direct heat source. Uh, now I'm not gonna say that I won't use this product, this could go in other places, like in the trunk area of my car and whatnot, but I will never put this anywhere where it's really going to be hot because as you can see, I don't think it's very fireproof at all. So that's one bad product. What about the other? Well, in efforts to make my car look different from the rest, I thought, well, maybe I can go and order body parts from Timu to see if I can help spice up, jazz up the look of my car. So I ordered a bunch of uh, universal pieces to help accentuate the look of the car. This product here I ordered shows even a Mustang body kit. Well, that seems a bit misleading. I thought it was something different, but I'm like, well, no, maybe it's more tailored for the Mustang. And uh, I'm like, hey, I'll give it a shot. You know, cheap Mustang parts? Sure, why not? So when the package shows up, it wasn't what was pictured, partially. Half the pictures were for a Mustang specific kit and the other half was the exact product, which was a bit misleading. Not to mention the product itself, this is what you get. I knew not to expect too much for the money I paid for this stuff, but I was expecting maybe just a little bit more. I mean, look, this is some, I, I would not, as this is right now, would not put this on my car because first of all, this just, look at that. It weighs nothing. This is something you put on a power wheels, man. This is not something you put on your car. I mean, and this stuff scratches so easy. It's, I scratched the finish just pulling it out of the box. It's, it's crazy. So it's not suitable to be used in an automotive application. Not how it is. I mean, I don't even know if this even has a better use. If they can make a good paper airplane. 
<laughs> I actually got some distance. It does pretty good at that. Yeah, that's not something you want to put on your car. Yeah, this product has a lot of good reviews. Now, of course, maybe there are a lot of people who gave it good reviews. Perhaps those people are in not, uh, what should I say, up to speed on what a quality part should be and this fits what they deem quality. Uh, yeah, I'm not putting this on my car like this. This this looks like crap. Which sucks because I have a whole box full of these things. So now what am I going to do with them? So some lessons have been learned on what you can and cannot buy from Timu and at least expect something decent. Most of the tools I've ordered have actually exceeded my expectations on quality compared to the price I've paid for those products. So these car parts are not living up to the same trend. They are far less quality than I'm expecting and the prices, while they're decent, I think the prices are actually too much for the quality of the product you're getting. So, uh, so far, this is where Timu gets a big fat X. Yeah, don't buy car parts from Timu. Tools are good, car parts are junk. Let that be a lesson to you.